Hi guys! Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, pag-uusapan ulit natin si problem solving involving quadratic function. Kasi naman, meron na naman kayo nakitang problem dyan na hindi nyo na naman alam kung paano ang gagawin. Kasi baka na naman hindi na naman nabigyan ng chance si problem solving para intindihin. Ngayon, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano nga ba siya iintindihin. Okay? So, wag na natin tong patagalin pa. Simulan na natin. Find the largest area which the farmer can enclose with 28 meters of fencing materials. Okay, so ang hahanapin natin ay yung largest area na yung farmer can enclose or masaraduhan yung kanyang lot with 28 meters of fencing materials. So, meron tayo dito ang length natin na 14 minus x. Okay, and then, ito yung hint natin, ha? And then, we have our width as x. Okay, and then, pag in natin lahat yan, makukuha natin yung perimeter. Ang perimeter niya is uh, 28 meters. Now, ang hahanapin natin is yung area. Okay, so, sige, isolve na natin. Oops, pero bago nating isolve, i-remind ko lang kayo sa bagong segment ng ating mga video, ang hashtag Mami Pa Shoutout. Kung gusto nyong ma-shoutout sa mga videos or sa susunod na video ko, ilagay nyo lang hashtag Mami Pa Shoutout. Pa shout out name kung gusto niyo i-include yung place at kung meron kayong gustong message na ipasabi sa akin pwedeng pwede ha and for our question of the day or hashtag #QOTD natin sagutin niyo ito sa ating comment section ha ano ang nagpapahirap sa inyo pagdating sa problem solving i hope makakita ko ng mga answer no kung ayaw niyo magpa-shout out edi eh, answer niyo na lang din ito okay Thank you! And now, let's start! Okay, doon sa ating ano, given, di ba, we have ang perimeter natin. So, we have here first yung length. Okay? Yung length natin is, what, 14 minus x. And then, yung width natin is x. Okay? And then, the perimeter is 28. I-check nga natin kapag in ba na natin ito or kinuha natin yung perimeter using this, makukuha natin uh, ito. Okay? Tama ba yung sinabi ko? O, sige, tingnan natin. So, we have, to get the perimeter, we have to have 2 times okay, the length plus the width. So, ang perimeter natin ay 28. Equals ba siya dito sa mga values natin dito? Ang length natin is a 14 minus x. So, 2 times a 14 minus x. Okay. Plus x. Okay. So, we have here 28 is equal to, we don't know kung tama ba. O, what is negative x plus x? Kasi ito lang yung pwede natin gawin. So, we have here, cancelled sila kasi negative x plus x is 0. So, what will remain is 14. 2 times 14 is 28. So, 28 equals to 28. So, check yung mga dimensions natin. Since okay sila, we can now have our uh, area. So, to find for the area, we know that A is equal to our length times width. Okay? Since our length dito is 14 minus x, okay, i-multiply natin siya kay x, okay, equals 0. Ha? Kasi hindi nga natin alam yung largest area. So, kailangan natin makuha yung values ni x para makuha natin yung largest area. Okay? So, to have that, we have to distribute. Okay? 14 times x is a 14x. Okay? And then, negative x times x is negative x squared equals to 0. Gawin natin standard form, ha? This will become negative x squared plus 14x 
equals 0. Make this positive para mas okay. So, multiplied by negative 1. O mga anak, baka mamaya may magtanong na naman, bakit po kailangan i-multiply by negative 1? Okay lang naman na eto na. Pero usually, pag standard form kasi, ang ginagawa natin, ginagawa natin positive ang ating a. So, we have here now x squared minus 14x equals to 0. Now, para makuha natin yung largest area, ba? as I mentioned nung nakaraang video natin, kinukuha natin yung vertex. Siya kasi yung maximum or yung minimum point. Okay? So, vertex yung kukunin natin. Ang vertex natin ay h, k. Since ang hinahanap natin yung value ni x, ang hahanapin natin si h. And you know, the formula of h is h is equal to negative b over 2a. Okay? h is also x ha. Tandaan nyo, si h ay equals kay x. So, eto, pwede din naman natin siyang gawing x is equal to negative b over 2a para masolve natin yung value ni x. Okay? So, ang b natin ay negative 14. So, negative times negative 14 over 2 times 1. Okay, so we will have here now, what, negative times negative is positive 14 over 2. What is 14 over 2? We have x equals to 7. So the value of our, okay, x is 7. But we, can, we cannot have 7. Kasi, tignan nyo ha, kung isang substitute natin dito si 7, Gamit lang ako ng iba, ang ibang color ha, para makita nyo. Okay, kung isa-substitute ko dito si 7, eh, ditong width natin, magiging 7. And then, yung length natin, 14 minus 7, ang length natin, magiging 7. Kung pareho ang measurement ng length at width natin, makikita natin na square ang mabubuo. Pero dun sa problem natin, ano ba binigay? Square ba? Hindi, ba? It's a rectangle. Meaning to say, hindi dapat magkapareho yung measurement ng length and width natin. Okay? So, dahil ganun, it's either mag-minus tayo ng 1 or mag-add tayo ng 1 doon sa ating measurement. Since ang width natin, ang nakuha natin ay 7, dapat mas mababa sa 7 yung magiging width natin. So, our, so lagay ko dito na ha, length and width. Okay? Dahil mas maliit dapat yung width kesa kay length, so minus 1 ka lang dito, ang width natin will be 6. Okay, and then, ang length natin will be, diba, 14 minus 6, kasi 14 minus x, so that will be 8. So, our values or our dimensions will be 8 and 6. Pero, ang tanong natin, what is the largest area? So, the largest area, so A is equal to length times width, which is 8 times 6. What is 8 times 6? 48. Okay, so therefore, the largest area is 48 meters squared. Okay, that's it. That's the answer. Okay, ang dali lang, no? At para sa shoutout of the day natin, eto ang kauna-unahan nating shoutout of the day. Salamat sa iyo, Daniela. Shoutout kay Daniela and Arsenio ng Cebu Province. Okay, sana marami pa tayong maging shoutout of the day. Mag-comment lang kayo gamit ang ma uh, hashtag Mami pa shoutout. Okay, at kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button. I-share ito sa iba at mag-comment ka dyan sa comment section ng nararamdaman mo ngayon. Okay? At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, please huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!